Oh. Oh. Okay, so today is 40 plus one day. The contractions are a bit very intense, so we're heading towards the hospital. We'll keep you updated. Bye. I'm midwife Ajo. You are welcome back to this channel. And in this video, I'll be sharing how labor has been with me. So I went into labor at 40 plus one day, which was a Sunday. I'm still recovering anyway, so please bear with me. I'm a bit, um, I could be a bit slow, but please bear with me because I'm still recovering. So the labor, I started feeling the pain from Thursday. It wasn't strong. It was just those slight slides. So I was still thinking it was false labor. I could sleep because if you're in labor, you can't sleep. So I, because I could sleep, I thought, oh, that's fine. Friday, one or two fill, uh, contractions. Saturday, it was getting a bit intense, but I could still sleep. It wasn't labor. So Sunday, I went to church. After church, which was around 11 a.m., I realized the pain was getting a bit intense. And I, I just decided to eat something. After I ate, wanted to sleep, but I realized I couldn't sleep. So this time around, I was like, hey, then this is getting, like it's getting uh, intense. Like, so I even told my husband that we'll go to the hospital today. Around 5 p.m., I saw show. So show is a bloody, slimy discharge that comes out from the vagina. Okay, so we also call it medically, we call it operculum. What it, it was doing was that it closed up the mouth of the cervix. Okay, so during pregnancy, the mouth of the cervix is closed so that nothing goes in to harm your baby. So let me just chip this into it. So men that are afraid to have sexual intercourse with their partner because they think, oh, something is hurting baby's head. Something will cause harm to your baby. No, there's something that has closed the cervix. So nothing goes in to hurt baby. So unless your doctor advises that you shouldn't have sex, you are at liberty to do. Okay. So after I saw that at five, I... I was I was still not having too much like like the contractions were not too strong so I was still patient with myself. Then around six I realized that hey the thing was getting intense so so in my mind my mother was around so I, I was telling her that hey is this how labor is because not and quite like it was getting intense. I was still walking about because I'm a first time mom and I know that. For first time moms, sometimes or mostly your labor could take a bit longer. It's a bit rare for first time moms to have a bit faster labor. But this is to advise all first time moms that when you see the show, please go to the hospital so that you are assessed. Okay. When they assess you and they tell you to come back home, it's better than you staying at home and things getting bad before you get to the hospital. For instance, myself, I stay at Oyarefa. My hospital is Kolibu. And look at the transit, the, the journey. So we, after I ate my supper, I had my bath with my husband. I wasn't telling my husband that I wasn't ready to go, but he's seeing how painful, like how I was in pain. He went to call the, the brother of ours and they came and packed the items and we got to the hospital. We got to the hospital, that was around 9.30. I was assessed and I was six centimeters dilated. If you're a mother, you know that six centimeters dilated is like a breakthrough, okay? Because you need to be dilated to 10 centimeters. So, if I'm six, then I'm more than halfway to. I was very excited. Then they sent me to the liver ward. My water had not broken yet. 
so they needed to break it themselves vagina is amazing it's uncomfortable sincerely because first person examined me vaginally and said oh they what they could feel they wanted another person to confirm second person confirmed and also said the same thing that she was going to call the doctor finally doctor came so just imagine but it was all for my good okay so in as much as vaginal examinations are painful or did i say painful uncomfortable it's for your good okay so it shouldn't deter you from going to the hospital because it's for the good of both you and your baby okay after that the doctor decided to break the water and as i always say the water is a bit warm okay when the water was broken i was like oh this is so soothing like it was like warm water that is trying to console you from all the pain that you were going through then contractions became very intense it was as though it was like back to back back to back and i was trying i was in the deep breathing it wasn't re so during this period of time like the time of labor i realized that the deep breathing necessarily doesn't only help with relieving you of pain but it helps you to get oxygen to your baby okay because while the uterus contracts there's reduced oxygen to your baby that is why mostly when you are contracting and they are they put the machine on your abdomen the machine we call ctg okay or cardiotocograph when we put that on you to monitor the baby's heartbeat it gives a higher heartbeat during your time of contractions so the deep breaths helps your baby to also have some kind of good oxygen supply throughout your time of contractions so that's why we tell you to take the deep breaths I was doing that and it was still not working like I could still feel so much pain so I was managing and it was around 12 o'clock midnight and the doctor came back to assess because of the way the pain was going he wanted to see if I had advanced after the assessment I was still six centimeters the baby's heartbeat was going up which the medical people would say tachycardia and we like that's it it's up it's going up and it shouldn't be it's going above the normal so we had heartbeats around 200 and it was it's not right baby's heartbeat normal range should be between 120 to 160 okay so that was really high so the doctors just decided to prepare me for an emergency cesarean session just imagine that <laughs> going through labor and going to have an emergency cesarean section so it was so funny because i i always told my clients that your labor could end in a cesarean section and i've always told them the reasons because it's not only high uh, baby's heart beats going up lots of things can cause that i think we've, we've done videos on that if we have not you want us to talk about it again please put it in the description box or in the comment section we'll talk more about that so I was quickly prepared and sent to the theater. On the theater bed, I had two strong contractions that I was like, oh gee, like, it was really intense. Then quickly the anesthetics came in, gave me the spinal anesthesia. That was so soothing. After I quickly laid on the bed and they started the surgery, my baby was out around 1.52. Two, yes, that, no, that was 1.53 a.m. And baby came crying. I was really excited. And they tidied baby up and came to show baby to me. Procedures went on after they closed up, sent me to the recovery. And by the grace of God, I'm here. I'm still recovering, though. By the grace of God, baby is well, mother is well. I, I met people at Kolebu that were still, they were like, is that not midwife Ajo? People that see me, I had clients who just bump into me. Oh, midwife Ajo, you are pregnant. Thank you all for the support. Guess the sex of baby. 
Thank you so much for watching. Please comment, like, and share this video. I'm Midwife Ajo. Do enjoy the rest of the time. Bye.